Hello everyone, I'd like to share something that's revolutionized my calling system. It's called the call portal. So basically what it allows me to do is set up multiple tracking numbers. So just to explain, a tracking number is a number which can call or receive texts on behalf of another number. So this can, you can set up multiple tracking numbers to see which form of advertising yields the best results. It allows you to have privacy since you're not actually really using your real phone number. When someone calls that tracking phone number, it's going to be sent to your phone. They're never going to see your phone number. And you can also sell this service, which is very nice to other companies, or you can use it for your own company. So I've set up this brand new account and I'm going to want to add company. That's the first thing you're going to do. So I'm just going to quickly add my company in. And then I'm going to add a phone number. And an email. So now I'm going to add the company. And now I get to choose my first tracking number. So I'm going to search for available numbers, but before that I'm going to can change the local number. So I'm going to search the local number as 954, that's Fort Lauderdale. So, and I'm just going to look for one that looks really nice. So you have the toll free one, which is an additional monthly charge on your end, but not for the people receiving the call. So I'm going to just click on this one. This one looks nice. So I'm going to buy number. And now we finally get the options. So first I'm going to want to enter my website name. So here's my website. So there's my website and I can add another destination number. So when a call is sent, you're you're going to want to update every time. But when a call is sent, like you're going to see on the screen, it's going to be received and then sent to these two numbers. But remember that the, the person calling is only ever going to be able to see the tracking number. So then you have voice messages. So this is just like normal voice messages when you call and after a period of time. So we're going to enable it and you can set the time, which is very handy. So I'm going to enable it. They are going to receive a voice message. You can transcribe the voice message so you can receive it in a text form, but here what you can do is just you have a voice text and then someone's going to speak it so you don't actually have to record your own one. That makes things very easy. So next we're going to add to the email. So this, the transcribed voice message is going to be sent to here. So you're going to see an example of that on the screen. Whoops. Uh, okay, so that's there. And then you're going to want to enter a text message. So when this is sent, the voice message can also be sent to here. So so now you're going to want to update that. And I'm going to show you an example of that on the screen. So now we have when the caller, the person calling, you know, has a missed call, you don't respond, you can send them a message. So let's say, sorry for not answering the call, we'll reach out to you soon. So I'm going to show you an example of that on the screen. And when there's a call, you can also send them a message. So when everything went well, you responded, you, it also can automatically send a message. So looking forward to working with you. It's just an example. You can set it to anything you want. So 
The next is the text message alert. So this allows you to do the same thing as this. It just sends it in a template form. So you can set the template. So this is on your end. So this is all for the caller's end, but this is for your end. When you receive, when they miss a call, you can receive a text message with where the call is from, the source, and you can enter here all the data tokens. I, I just keep it as the default, but if you want, you can add some more. So now we've added that. And then we have the text message leads. And this basically allows you to send when they send a text message to you. So they can either call or text message to that tracking number. That is going to be forwarded to as many text messages systems as you want. So let's say when they text, I want it to come to this number when they text the tracking number. And then I want it to include the text message. So if they say, hey, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing business with you, you're going to see that. And then you can send an automatic reply. So thank you. And on the screen, you're going to be able to see that. Next, we have the call greeting. So basically what this is, is when the person is giving a call, they're first going to get a message. And you're going to want to do this, especially if you're going to record your calls, just for legal reasons, you're going to want to record the calls. So this call may be recorded for training purposes. And you have a whisper message. This is like the greeting, but on your end, on the end of the person that's managing the calling system. And what it's going to be able to do is that you can say, oh, it's a call from Facebook or it's a call from my website. And you're going to, and you're going to get this whisper whenever a call is received, then you can listen to it right now. It's going to show an example. This is a call from your website. And next you have the caller ID. So, when you enable this, it's going to show some extra information about the user. Here, I'm going to show you a screenshot of what that looks like. It might, it could be very helpful for your business. And this is when a person's calling, they're either going to see your number. So like on your screen, I'll show you an example right here. They're going to either see your calling number or the tracking number that's used. So next we have call forwarding. So let's say you missed the call, but actually you have another person running in your company. So maybe you want them to get the call. So if you press X, you can enter that phone number. Um, for this case, it's not needed. So then we have the IVR settings. This is basically business hours. So let's say you have some business hours and you like to separate your private life from your personal life. So you're going to want that these numbers are separate. And then you're going to want them to select the key and then it's going to send it to a destination number. And you can either send it to connect with or you can send it to a voicemail where they can send a voicemail and you can get it back and then you can set it you can send it to an email and text message. So right now I'm going to play an example of that in the background so you can hear. So the next is email alerts. This is basically that it will send an email to you whenever there's missed a call. And you can see an example of that on the screen now. And next is the disabled number, which just means that you can disable the number so that it's not being used anymore. If you plan to not use that tracking number for any reason, you can just disable it. So you're gonna want to update always. And then you're going to see your calls. And for right now, you're not going to have anything because no one's called it. But I'm going to show you an example of a campaign in the screenshot, and I'm going to explain it to you. 
So as you can see here, here on this screenshot, you can see this person has a ton of answered calls and not too many unanswered calls. So that's really good for them. So they've ran numerous campaigns and they have their source from, you can see from the website. And basically from all this information, they can make the right marketing decisions. They see the tracking where people are coming, where callers are coming from. And if they're completed, the seconds they can review all of them. So I, I would just like to show you guys a complete project. Thank you so much for staying and, and listening to this video. Um, thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.